around with your pants, like, you need to unzip them. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just unzip, like, the bottom and like this, and that's why you have that. Do you pay me first? <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to, you have to do that, so otherwise sorry. the, the e-meter is not going to work. Zip. Alright. Good, thank you. Next time's not free. Thank you. Okay. Now, I realize they're asking children this, they're asking, it doesn't matter who you are. Once the session sign is on, that's all that matters. Okay, so we're gonna do a, hmm. we're gonna check um, the sensitivity. So I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna ask you to squeeze the cans. Squeeze the cans, please. Thank you. Squeeze the cans, please. Thank you. Squeeze the cans, please. I did it last time. <laughs> yeah, but we have to set you up oh, okay. with the sensitivity. We need to check your sensitivity to the machine. So <laughs> I need you to do a gradual of pressure until a light squeeze is achieved and then relax it. Okay. Squeeze the cans, please. Thank you. Okay, so take a deep breath, hold it for just a moment and let it out through your mouth. Okay, so we didn't get enough metabolism. It wasn't really a deep breath. You need, I need you to like yeah. actually take a deep breath, okay? okay? But we can't do it now. Because we just checked it and it's not gonna be valid. Well, but, but what did you eat? Uh, pasta. Pasta. Did you have any protein? Yeah, I had beans in my pasta. Anything else? Did you have any chicken? Did you have any kind of like pr actual protein? <laughs> there, was, there was shrimp in there. Shrimp? Yeah. Just shrimp like a little bit. Of, how much? How, how much, much shrimp? Just like 30 40 pieces. Okay, all right. Okay, well then let's check the metal again, okay? Okay. So take a deep breath. Hold it for just a moment and let it out through your mouth. Good. Are you tired? No. Good. Um, how many ounces did you get? Eight. Good. Um, are you hungry? I'm not. Um, is there any reason not to have a session? No. Thank you. This is the session. So we're going to check your rudiments. All right, let's do okay. it. Do you have an ARC break? On the question, do you have an ARC break? Has anything been suppressed? Do you have an ARC break? ARC break is if, if you're upset, just so that people know what I'm asking. Um, I'm a little upset. You're a little upset? Okay, what happened? Tell me. Uh, somebody sat me down and told me to unzip my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> So if his needle goes like this, that means it's dirty. And that means he just made a critical statement about me. This was a critical statement about the auditor. Anytime he's critical of me, I'm gonna be like, well, thank you for telling me that, okay? But let me just check something else. Have I failed to find out something about you? No. Have I failed to find out something about you? No. Okay, take a look. Take a look and see if there's anything I have failed to find out. What's that you're looking at right there? What's that? What's that you're thinking about? What's coming to mind right now? Something I failed to find out? Something I didn't discover? What is that? What are you looking at? My hands. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the question okay. and see if there's anything that I have failed to find out about you. Something mm -hmm. you're not telling us. Okay. Something you're withholding, something you don't want us to know. There, that. What is that? What could it be that you're withholding? Um, I don't know. Okay, so have you done something perverted that you don't want us to know about? <laughs> <laughs> I do spend a lot of time in my room. Okay, and then you can, you can just, for the purpose of this demonstration, you can just say, bananas and apples. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like you just use use right. that to oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. to switch up. Right, right, right. But but no that we're not talking a lot about banana. Okay. So so yeah, okay. So you're spending a lot of time in your room. What are you doing in your room? What are you doing there? Um that's that's personal. Okay, so Cam, I'm, I'm gonna need to show you a reference from Alan Hubbard that says <laughs> you cannot have a single withhold because otherwise our intelligence is not gonna work. You have to be honest. You have to tell what you don't want to know. You don't want uh, to be known about you. Okay. All right. Perfect. So do you see what Albert Hubbard says here? Yeah. Do you understand this? Yeah, I do. Okay. I would love you to actually demonstrate to me why you should not have a withhold. So 
I'm gonna grab the cans from you and show me that you understand what I just had you read. Just go like this and you have to go, okay, so if this is me and I have a withhold and I don't want people to know that I have a withhold and my sessions are not working. So you have to use these things to show me that you really understood what I just showed you. You lost me a withhold. <laughs> <laughs> so withhold is the thing that you don't want known about you. Okay. So since we were checking, like if you've done something perverted, you could yeah. be like, so if I did something perverted here and I'm like go in session and then I'm like, oh, I'm not going to think about that and I'm not going to tell my auditor that, then, then the, the session's not going to work. Okay. So that's kind of how you have to... You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so just pretend that you did that. <laughs> I get that you're like, okay, what the hell is that? <laughs> All right. So, do you understand this concept now? Yes, I do. Okay, great. So, let's take a look. Something that you've done that's, um, that you don't want anyone to know. Something perverted you did. You, you were saying about being in your room. What about being in your room? Uh, bananas and apples and oranges. Thank you. Yeah. So tell me exactly what you did with the banana. Steal it. <laughs> it's a long story. It's hard for me to sit down now, but um, it was like. Uh... Steal it, bro. Huh? You peeled it. Oh yeah. Shh. <laughs> We're in a session. Yes. <laughs> the sign is on the door. I made it as a press of act, Chris. Yeah. So um, <laughs> you'll be audited next. Yes. A woman came and gave me a, a banana, and uh. <laughs> Why is he I, uh, licking his lips? I run like, <laughs> we're in a session, please. Um, I unpeeled the banana and, uh, yeah. I peeled it and ate it. Thank you so much for telling me that. <laughs> Thank you very much for telling me about that, okay? Um, when was that that you did this? With the uh, banana? 10 minutes ago. The, oh, right before you came in touch? Yeah. Got so it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So now, is that all of the withhold? Yes, in the last 20 minutes, yes. Okay, now I'm gonna check this. If his needle goes like this, that means he has a dirty needle and that means there's more that I need to check. Okay, well let's take another look at this situation about the banana and then let's see if there's any detail that you're leaving out by any chance. Anything else there to the banana? No. <laughs> take another look. No, take good. another look. Let's just see if there's anything else. Something else with an apple, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Mm. Did you think of something there? Mm. What was that? Uh, what was that? Long story. <laughs> okay, so we really want you to come clean and honest because that's going to make you have a lot of wins, okay? You want too clean? <laughs> yeah. So please tell me what you did exactly from beginning to end, every detail, and see if there's something else to this withhold. Let's let's go over it again. Okay. So, what happened with the banana? Now tell me what, what happened with the apple too. With the apple, um, I, uh, I ate the apple, and then um, a woman came in and told me to eat the apple, so I ate another apple, and uh, there was like five apples that day. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Thank you very <laughs> much for telling me that. You're welcome. <laughs> Is that all of the withhold? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Have you justified that withhold? Have you made less of it? In the last 10 minutes, yes. How did, so what kind of justifications do you have? Um, I'm going to be moving on to mangoes instead. Good. <laughs> How else did you justify it? Um, uh, festival's not proof so. Thank you. How yeah. else did you justify it? Um, uh, only only once a week now instead of once a, once a day. Thank you. Is there any other way you justified it? Uh, not that I can think of. Very good. Now, who almost found out what you did with this banana and apple? Who almost found out about it? Uh, it was a very short man. I think he goes by the name of uh, Mr. Scavish. He walked by and uh, he, me he asked if I could join. And when I said no, he wasn't too pleasant. Thank you. Is there anything else that Mr. Miscavige did to make you wonder whether or not he knew? 
Well, you, you looked into my room, you were standing on a milk carton. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't tall enough to see in, so he did that and he looked at me. When we made eye contact, it got really awkward and he winked at me, so I kind of felt embarrassed and put the apple away. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that Mr. Miscavige do to make you wonder whether or not he knew? Um, no, no. He just gave me a bunch of Tom Cruise movies to watch and I felt like <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Now, who else missed it? Um, there was this guy, uh, I don't know, he was an actor, and uh, uh, Joanne Tra Travolta, I think it was. <laughs> I don't believe, I don't remember his name, but he, he's kind of a, a he's bald, he's a bald man. He told me he used to play in this, uh, this movie called Oil, or it was Grease, it was Grease. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so he walked by when this guy was just, watching me do those acts and uh, he said something about like lightning speed or something and uh, he started singing and it really made me feel uncomfortable. Thank you. Yeah. Now just so you guys know, over here would be a legal sheet of paper where I'm writing as he's saying everything he says, I'm writing it like this. I'm just, okay, thank you. What else did Mr. Miscavige do? <laughs> I'm literally like, literally like this, and I'm not allowed to look at my handwriting. I'm not allowed to, I'm just supposed to like keep my attention on him, but I have to have everything that he's saying written. I did something with a banana, I did something with an apple, I did it here, Mr. Miscavige. All these names are having to be written. Yep. Full record. Great, okay, well, is there anybody else who missed it? No. Thank you very much. Your needle is floating. Woo! No, 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 I didn't say that. Oh, God. We just finished the one part. Oh, <laughs> no. Shit. We're now going to go into the actual set. This was just the rudiment. Oh, wow. So the rudiment is these three questions that they check on you. Do you have an ARC break? So you have an upset? Do you have a present time problem? Or do you have a withhold? And because you were critical of me, we just handled a withhold. But we also had a read on ARC break, and you said you were something, you were upset about something. Right. So now that you that I found out that you were doing stuff with bananas and apples, mm -hmm. and we cleaned that to floating needle, right. now we have to come back. So let's go back to the ARC break you were telling. Right. So are you still ARC broken about that? Does that still answer your the question? Mm -hmm. Are you upset about something? Do you have an ARC break? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move on. Oh, you moved on? Yeah. Okay. So let me check something here. Okay. Has someone said you had an ARC break when you didn't have one? On the question, has someone said you had an ARC break when you didn't have one? Has anything been suppressed? Has someone said you had an ARC break when you didn't have one? No. Okay, so you just told me that you moved on from that? So couldn't that kind of be like you have someone said to it? Oh sure. Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So who said it? You. Thank you. And what did I say? An ARC break. Good. Your needle is floating. Mm, something like been floating. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. The so pillow. Now we're gonna go to this next Set, uh, part of the session, okay? okay? Great, so we're gonna do a process on communication. Yep. And we're first gonna check some things on the e meter, okay? Alrighty. A prostitute, a homeless man, a police officer, a teacher, okay. So we're gonna take up the first one. Already. Okay, so what does this question mean to you? Hmm. If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? Uh, $5 take or leave it. No, what, is it, what does just the actual question mean oh. to you? If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? Now, by the way, I'm not supposed to ever move. I'm supposed to be on a chair and I'm supposed to never literally sit, but I have to like, I have to change. <laughs> <laughs> so just... That's a side note. Okay. So, yeah. Big and, question. And you would never have him high and me low. Never. Like, You're in power over. I'm literally you. supposed to be over here. Powering over? Like, at least here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, we're not, I'm never supposed to be like, you know, this is the, this is 
the table we have right now. Right. So, okay, so yes. So what does that question mean to you? If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? That question is, uh, is dirty to me. It's not relevant to uh, my beliefs. Okay, but you know what? Here's L. Ron Hubbard, okay? See what L. Ron Hubbard says right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you not understand a word that L. Ron Hubbard said here? Because if you have a disagreement, then it means that you have a misunderstood word. Oh, okay. I, I didn't get that the first time. Okay, great. Okay, we're good now. You get it? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to check the question again. So what does this question mean to you? If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? Um, the question is interesting. It's very interesting to me. That uh, It might uh, interest me to talk about the question more and go into the question. Okay, but can you just answer to me like what the actual question just means, like just by itself? Like the, what does the question, if you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? What does that question just mean? Like just by itself. Like I just want to check, I just want to make sure that you understand what the question is asking for. So in your own words, what does that mean? What does the question mean? Answer the question or how does it mean? No, just what does it mean to you? If you could talk to a prostitute, what could you talk about? What does that question mean to you? Weird? A weird? So I get that it's weird, but yeah. but I want Hubbard did say that you needed to create what do you want to say, man? any communication. <laughs> so just tell me like, oh, so if I was to ever talk to a prostitute, what could I possibly talk about? Like you could just say something like that and that answer is this. Okay. Okay. But, so, uh, but just as you get frustrated like this, imagine you're a child and you don't know what in the hell. I'm 23 like, and I still don't know what it means. Correct. <laughs> well, there you go. So, okay. So now you get it? Yes. Yeah, so okay. What? So just parrot it back to me. Like, so what does this question mean to you? If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? If I could talk to a prostitute, what would I talk about is very uncomfortable. Okay, so I'm gonna answer for him because he clearly doesn't get it. I don't get so it. So what does this question mean to <laughs> you? If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? I'd like to phone a friend. S three. Oh, that would mean that if I was literally in a conversation with a prostitute, what would I say to the prostitute? My arm hurts. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Now, what does this question mean to you? Hmm. If you were talking to a prostitute about that, what would you say exactly? Do I have to repeat the whole thing again? Am I in Jeopardy or something? <laughs> you just have to... Prostitute just... for 500. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would mean like if we, I actually do get to speak to a prostitute, yeah. what would I actually go doors. up to oh, the oh, prostitute and speak to them? Oh, look who showed up. It's a session, so you have to be session. very quiet. Quiet! Yeah. Right. So, okay. Exactly. Um, do you know they have really great bananas down at the, uh, the store? Buy three, get one free. And uh, all that. And uh, you could, you look a little malnourished, so if we can get you fruits and vegetables, it would be a lot better. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? Now, this is going to go on and on and on and on. Like, I'm just going to answer, ask him those questions repeatedly, nonstop until guess what hmm. you go oh my god i want to what have intercourse with the prostitute <laughs> you, want to say? You, you need to have a cognition I'm right and cognition. Sin, cognition is like something you realize as a result of being oh, okay. tortured basically okay. so you're supposed to have a cognition you're supposed to go oh my god my whole life i didn't want to talk to prostitutes so i was so shy but now you know, who cares? They're just a human. Right. Okay, so exactly. something like that. So imagine that we've just gone on and on and on, like this question over and over, repeated ad nauseum. If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? If you could talk to a prostitute about that, what would you say exactly? And now, let's say that we've run this for 20 minutes, and you get really exasperated, and you're just like, oh my god, I think I want to leave. I think I'm just like, this is, you know, just act, you know, really like exasperated. Okay. okay, so if you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? Um... Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, I, I, I think I'd like to leave the session now. Okay, try and leave. Okay, Cam, now. It's very important that you stay seated, okay? We're going through session. Mm -hmm. You cannot move or leave until you're told that you can leave. 
and we're going to finish this session, and you're going to feel better, okay? But you cannot, you cannot leave the room until we tell you that you can leave the room, and we really need to flatten this process, because something is being stimulated in your head right now, and that's why you're feeling horrible, okay? okay. So we need to continue with the process, okay? Okay. So no matter how exasperated, you can squeal, you can yell, you can say, help, get me out of here. No one's going to hear you, because remember, we already put the concession sign. <laughs> no one can come and get you. Doesn't matter how much of a breakdown you have, if you have an anxiety panic attack, you're just stuck with this. Okay? So we're going to continue the process. So let's say we continue and continue and continue. And then you literally have to go have a cognition about it. Okay. So, so if you could talk to a prostitute, what would you say exactly? And you just say, you want to know, you know something? I just think I realized something, you know, like that. Right, right. You know what? I, I think I just realized that this whole session has made me, made me clear my mind more of what I actually would say if I actually did talk to a prostitute. Wow. Thank you very much. No problem. Your needle is floating. Okay, so we're gonna be ending session shortly. Finally. Is there anything you would like to say or ask before I end the session? No, no, there is not at all. Thank you. Thank you. End of session. Finally. Woo! Now yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Hip it up. level three. Let's go, guys. I'm moving up. Only 160,000 more until the next so, one. <laughs> Jokes on you, we actually brought a real life prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> no, and the prostitute is literally a real process question. that they have. It's called the process of oh. communication. And they do yeah. a list of people that would be hard to communicate with. So they put like prostitutes, police officer, or whatever. <laughs> and you're supposed to be like engaging the person you over and over and over through all this repetition yeah. until they say that they, oh, now I'm great at communicating or whatever. Oh my god! <laughs> Is that a real one? <laughs> Out of session, in session. If this is on the door, no one can come in. The LAPD cannot come in. No one can come in. The fire department? No one. Period. Like, this is the most sacred, important thing about L1 Hubbard. It's like, never interrupt the session no matter what. When this goes like that, I mean, look, it even says, there's one tech, and that is standard tech. How much is, was it? 10K? <laughs> Results are obtained by standard tech. L-O-R-H. Oh, so everything's everything is like, this is a technology, everything's technological, you're being checked, you're being processed, you're being whatever, so it's all a scam. Good demonstration, Serge. Yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah. <laughs> So, any questions? Um, yeah, that clears my questions for now. How much would something like this cost? Yeah, just demonstrate. So, Eight usually, it, like if you go to the Florida place, it's the most expensive. Oh, no, no, yeah. So, that one, up flag, is like $750 for this lower thing. Because so, this is a basic process. This is grade zero. So, this is like, it's like the bottom. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this is great Cause, zero. Because what's it called? Like I heard they have like intense auditing sessions. No, it's called intensive. intensive. So intensive is twelve and a half hours that you buy. Wow. So twelve and a half hours that runs you up at like about seven hundred and fifty dollars. But also depends on how you buy them because they always have packages. So every week, oh, buy the get up to clear package this week. So and now we're gonna discount everything at $40, 40% uh, off. And if you buy five or more, then you get a bigger discount. So it's whatever, if you, the more you buy, the bigger the discount, always. Like there's always like sliding scales and buy it before Thursday. This is never gonna happen again. It's like all like hardcore, like hard sale on making you buy it. and telling you like, oh my God, you're gonna have 50 hours on account, you're gonna have 50 hours to go clear, and you're just buying 50 hours locked up in a room with a person asking you anything and everything that is in the books of disgusting Alvin Hubbard. And some, a lot of the times the auditors are children. 
Well, it, it can be. Oh, it can be. I mean, you know, just the fact that it happens, you know, it's like when I was at Flag, there was a lot of minors. There was a lot of us doing it, and that's what also normalized that culture. But not every minor could do it. There so were minors that us. were not <laughs> literally able to do it. There were minors that were just not cut out for that, so they were, like, sent to, like, wash the dishes or do some other stuff. Hey, Cam. How did you feel? How did I feel? Uh, comfortable as hell. I couldn't imagine being fucking 10 or 12 years old in that. Yeah. I probably would have cried next to my mom if I was that age. Yeah. And they're even younger. Well, but imagine you go to your mom and says, I hated the auditing. And then and your mom like, goes, oh, hold on, let me write it up to your case supervisor. And guess where you go? Right back. Right back. <laughs> wow. Oh, and that gets even worse. Because now we're like, oh, why didn't you like it? Now da, 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 da. interrogation. The more time. interrogation, more heavy. Like, anytime you're resisting it, you're That's getting go harder. Wow. You're getting harder. Right. Anytime you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. Oh my God, I love it. Then it's like, oh yes, you're going up the bridge. Right. So, now, oh, and then after we finish here, then you have to go to another room, okay? Like a completely different room. Like, now Jessica's gonna be your examiner. She's gonna be called the examiner, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna back in the train. you're not gonna do much. <laughs> Come here, Cam. I'm gonna take you to the examiner after the session. Oh God, here we go. And then so so realize that we just left like like floor four, and now we're going to floor three where Jessica's just sitting there all day. All she does is people are brought to her, and then. Okay. Sit down, bitch. No. <laughs> and then you're just, you don't say anything. You're not allowed to say anything. And all you do is... That's right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, so give him the cans. Give him the cans. And sit and sit down. So you guys are truly can't be sad. <laughs> so now you, you sit here. Okay. And you... Oh, my God. What the heck? Continue. <laughs> okay. So now you're going to be, and, and you're not going to tell him anything. He's just going to sit there. You can tell him like, oh my God, my session was so amazing. I really loved it. And you're just checking his needle. Because his needle. Okay. if his needle's not floating here, <laughs> then he's going to get a red tag and he has to go back with me immediately. You know what? The needle, needle doesn't look like it's flowing, to be honest. Oh my god, so now you're red tag. I have oh. to go back and get a correction. Oh, sure. <laughs> Let me move out of your way, Serge. <laughs> go ahead. So basically, they, they just go like this. Like, you just sit there, mm -hmm. and then I go like this. And I'm just going to stare at you. And I'm wow. just like writing what the needle's doing. Because I'm like, in the meantime, I'm writing needle this, needle that, whatever. So you can say something if you want, but I'm not going to prompt you. I'm not allowed to prompt you at all. So if you want to say something, you can say it, if it's not, and sometimes you have to like, you know, again, it's like, they, they really want to hear you, oh my god, I had the biggest session, it was so amazing, it was so wonderful, it was so incredible, so that's how you got your needle to float. Oh, wow. great, your needle's floating, you know, because sometimes you go there and it's like, it's so awkward, you're just sitting with somebody like staring at this needle and you're just like, what the fuck, and it's like, that's what makes you not have the floating needle. Mm -hmm. And then you learn quickly that you have to go back. So then you have to learn quickly to be like, oh, no, that was great. That was amazing. amazing. <laughs> the best I'm time of Communicating my life. so well now. Almost so you have to, world. like, always, everything is hype, right? It's like, right. everything is, oh, my God, this is, this is amazing. Like, wow, I wrote right. Hubbard. You're such a genius. So everything is. Amazing. Everything like is that. Excited. Oh, my God, it's so amazing. Cocaine's a hello drug. Oh, my God, I love this. I love this. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, oh my god, thank you, your needle is floating. Oh my god. And now you're like, pass, and then you're like, oh my god, thank god, I love the back. Alright, fuck this. <laughs> so, yeah, this is any other questions? How many hours of yes, auditing until you reach clear? Maybe so, at roundabout. yeah, a roundabout, I mean, okay, so let's say you go through objectives, that should be about, like, 200 hours, 250, that's first. Then you have to do ARC spray wire, that's like 50 hours. Thank you for the session. Of course. I will not be Write a success story. I will I want to see it. Will not be coming back, by the way. <laughs> 300, <laughs> then um, ARC spray wire, then you have to do a drug rundown, depending on how many drugs you've done in your life, that could wow. run you up to like 50 hours to 75 hours. Then you have to do grade zero, which is what we're doing now which could be like that's a it's got a ton of questions and processes on that one so that could be like about depending on a 
50 hours, 75 hours, grade one, another 50 hours, grade two, that's the overs and the withhold, so that one's got a very long interrogation thing to it, so that one's more like 100 hours. Grade three is short, because they're just talking to you about changes. Grade four, they're talking to you about fixed ideas. And then uh, med, which is the where you get your engrams removed, uh, to go clear, that should really take about you know, 100 to 150 hours at least. It could go to more, but it's like, so I mean, all in all, it's like, you're talking hundreds and hundreds and wow. hundreds of hours just True. spent on a chair years. with these things. It, it could take years. I mean, it, that's why people go to these hotels, right? Because they're there full time and they're wow. like, yeah, finish, finish. Like, and then you're there eight hours and you're feeling like you're progressing up a bridge. You know, every time you finish one of these things, there's a graduation on Friday. Oh, come yeah. get your certificate and your flowers. So everyone's like, oh, yay, ECQ just finished. Here, <laughs> here, <laughs> here, your certificate. And then, okay, go tell everyone your wins. Like, you just finished grade zero. Tell everyone yeah, what you just Yeah, I'm um, EZQ, I just finished grade zero, yeah. <laughs> what did you tell them what you got out of it? Just start something you can shut up. Um, I, I, I feel like a better person. I finally realized that Scientology is the way. I have a clear mind now. Yeah. Um, I'm a better person. Uh, the thedons are now removed from my body. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone's like, oh my god, yes, yeah, 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 that happened to me too. Like, yeah, my god, this is a good... And then, okay, thank you to LRH! Yay! Yeah, LRH. So, and this is always the same, never different. Everyone's just on a yeah, big, it's absolutely high beautiful that state. Like, this is them. amazing. This is so great. We're doing so great. We're all doing it. Where are you in the great chart? Where are you in the... They're all asking each other, oh, he's great too. Oh, you're great three. Oh, you're clear. Oh, my God, you're, you're the better one of all of them. <laughs> They're like, where'd you, higher. Where'd you get on the bridge? Clear. Clear. Clear at age, what was I, I think I just turned, four, I was 14. Oh my. You never did the OT level stuff? No. Mm. no. Clear AF. Wait. Clear AF. It became clear that I was like, fuck, I don't want to do this shit anymore. Wait, but no. I clear, no. you've already no. reached the state where you don't have a reactive mind. In the next life, you're going to remember that past life, right? Very much. Mm -hmm. How do you do? I mean, Good to see they you never tell you, you they go. never oh. guarantee anything, right? It's like, it's all about, well. like, well, what, 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 how do you feel? <laughs> it's always like, what is your ability? Okay, yeah. You know, so it's all like self deluded, right? Because it's like, well, I feel I'm great. I feel I'm this. I'm feeling that. So it's always like, well, how do you feel about it? Well, you know, we can tell you how to yeah. feel. Mm -hmm. So Here's you the e -meter, guys. have to, like, they're always getting you to blur it out. That way you convince yourself that, oh yeah, that's my reality because I did say that. So it's always like, you know, just train to lie because num number one, you get rewarded as you complete these levels. Like there's a lot of hype and a lot of like, my God, I really accomplished something. Even though it was horrible, there's this idea that I went through this really horrible thing, but I did get a certificate and then everyone was like, oh my God, you're so great that you that. It was worth it. It was worth it. And then you spend the money and then you just like, you don't want to be like, oh my God, I just spent 20 grand on that. No, I got something a lot out of it. You know, so it's always that. There's so many mechanisms in place so that you're always in this state of hype. Self-hype. Mm -hmm. You're always self-hyping, self-hyping. And if you're not, then they're grabbing you and torturing you, right? Because it's like, if you're like, oh, you know what? I don't want to do psychology anymore. Oh, you need to go to ethics. Before you used to want to, now you don't. Something's so. Wrong. There's all, oh, now you need to do a course. Oh, you don't want to because your parents don't want to have you here. Oh, your PTS. Oh, let's have you do a course. That's going to fix it. So having a, yeah, we missed two. You're right? always fixing it with the thing. And it's always just complete bullshit. Yeah. Wow. Yep. All right. Thank you for the demo. Thank you. Thank sure. You. Anytime. All right. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, La Cubelle and Tology. Yeah, La Cubelle. Mm. Hey. Just got a good flying demonstration. I'm going to start just the best. You, you okay, yeah. Serge? You okay? You good? Yeah. Where's Liz? Where's Gail? I don't know. Maybe. Just making out my head. So guys, so that was a session that Serge was doing at age 14. So he was auditing adults like that and asking them for personal information like that. I mean, you see, I'm like, 
I need to breathe. So if you guys get triggered by this, please take a moment, back off from the camera, um, take a deep breath, and just be kind to yourself. You know? And you know, Serge is doing okay through that, so that was good. I could tell if he wasn't, so um, that was good, that was entertaining for me at this point. But a lot of people are heading out, and yeah, so we've got everybody here. And I was like, that's why they attacked you the most, because you were really getting direct with each seer member. Yeah, thank you. So we've got a whole house full of people here. Serge is writing something down. And so I'm going to go ahead and close right now, guys. I'm going to go ahead and say good night. Um, I'm going to close right now just for right now I just need to take a break I wanted to show this to you and we'll be back later and we will see you guys later so thank you for being here once again if this was triggering to any of you take a deep breath and light a candle meditate I'm going to go for a little walk outside just to breathe a little bit because that was pretty hard for me to watch Serge um, it's pretty intense what they've got these kids doing. All right, guys. Thank you. I'm out.